Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Live TV. We're back again with Vuzix, a leader in the augmented reality and virtual reality space. To recap, in early 2015, Vuzix received a $25 million investment from Intel Corp. Vuzix has shipped their smart glasses to roughly 40% of the Fortune 100 companies. DHL, who uses Vuzix products, published a white paper on augmented reality which highlighted the M100 and how DHL achieved a 25% increase in efficiencies using smart glasses and augmented reality warehouse applications. Uh, and just last week, they announced a worldwide expansion of this program involving the Vuzix smart glasses. Since we last spoke with Vuzix CEO Paul Travers, they've announced a solid amount of VIP relationships for the M300 plus this recent development last week with DHL. Paul Travers is here with us again to tell us a little bit more about the significance of some of these developments, such as the one involving DHL and their recent announcement regarding expansion of augmented reality solutions worldwide after a successful pilot program using Vuzix smart glasses. Good morning, Paul. Great to have you back. Yeah, hey, Mike, it's good to be here. Thanks. So what can you tell us about the DHL pilot program and the announcement from DHL supply chain that they will be expanding implementation of augmented reality worldwide? Yeah, you know, Mike, Vuzix has been making these smart glasses for the last uh, two and a half plus years. And they're really cool devices, what you can do with them compared to what you could do with a, a wearable computing system is it's just outstanding. Two and a half years ago, in fact, it was probably right about then that DHL got their first version from us, the M100. And they have been working diligently over that, over that period of time, perfecting the software to make it work really well for supply chain and supply chain management. The idea behind the glasses, you put them on, they replace barcode picker, et cetera. The glasses look forward. There's a camera that sees the real world. And so you can look at a barcode on a box and it'll tell you how many items you should pick out of that box. And as you said, with the M100, they've achieved success of as much as 25% improvement in efficiencies. They really like the M100. They've built a ton of infrastructure around smart glasses and their use in supply chain management. And as a result of the last two and a half years of effort, they finally reached an inflection point. And there are as many as nine or 10 key locations around the world. We're talking the USA and Ohio, the Netherlands, companies like Rico, and a bunch of other major players throughout Asia even that are going live. They're much more expanded programs than the initial program that they went out with. Um, so you can see it's gone from just the very beginnings to something that's becoming significant for DHL. You know, for us, DHL is just one company. We, they are not a small company, of course. They're one of the top supply chain companies. If you're shipping boxes, these guys are, are it. At least they're one of the it's, right? Um, but there's many, many other companies that you mentioned that are like in our VIP program. And with that, we have similar expectations in, in some of them relatively significant volume. The VIP program started in midsummer and it's expanding into um, the first generation of our production product here shortly in the end of September, early October timeframe. And so, yes, you will see some pretty significant stuff happening with Vuzix in the fourth quarter of this year around the M300. And just to reiterate, DHL will also be rolling forward into the M300. They're, they're part of our VIP program and as such, they have access to them already. Um, it's in a partnership with our friends at UbiMax. UbiMax has already got their software running on them. And so the idea is the M100 will roll forward to the M300, which I think will be the product of choice for most of these companies when they roll out smart glasses. And lastly, Paul, several analysts are expecting a strong fourth quarter for Vuzix. So I, I believe they feel the M300 sales will kick in as well as further contribution from the eyewear video headphones and the virtual reality headset. Um, any closing comments or anything else you want to add before we uh, sign off? Yeah, Mike, it's, it's a challenge to bring new products into the marketplace. And these products are significant step forward for, I think, what most companies are trying to bring to market. So it has been, you know, difficult road. That said, the M300 is going to be rolling into production here shortly. The eyewear is in production now. In fact, I just came back from China. It's exciting. The line is being doubled in size. And so, yeah, you should see some exciting growth in our revenues here in the fourth quarter for sure. And Paul, really exciting things happening in smart glasses and augmented reality markets. And certainly uh, these uh, latest couple of developments for Vuzix are, are fantastic. We'll continue to follow the story closely and uh, hope to have you on the show again soon. Thanks again for taking the time to join us. Thanks, Mike. Glad to be here. 
We've been talking to Paul Travers, president and CEO of Vuzix. Vuzix is a leading supplier of video eyewear and smart glass products to the consumer enterprise and entertainment market. They're a publicly traded company listed on the NASDAQ under ticker VUZI, and you can find out more about them by visiting their website at www.vuzix.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.